So, I played Stranded Deep. From sharks, food poisoning, diarrhea, coconuts, crabs, and even giant crabs, Stranded Deep is a game about being alone in a giant aquatic wasteland. So, I load up, and I'm on a plane. Nice. Okay. This plane mysteriously makes a giant hole in the side for no apparent cause. What could I cause that? What is this? Is it like bombing or something? The plane crashes, and I find a conveniently placed life raft on the side of the plane. Conveniently placed life raft. Then I black out. Oh, I made it slick. I didn't need to fix the life raft. Day one. Oh, it appears I made it! Oh my god! I wake up and immediately throw my pedal in the water. Oh. No, 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 my pedal. Where did it go? Uh oh. <laughs> I dropped the pedal. Since I now can't use one of the main elements of the game, I begin to pull my conveniently placed life raft towards shore. Uh, I'm gonna die in the shark, man. Get out of here. Oh, I can, I can lift it out of the water. Strong man. I find a chest on a shipwreck, which could have some things I could use to aid the fight for survival. The chest had a crude fishing spear, which is good because now I can catch a fish, but I still have no idea how to cook. This is because the paddle being dropped in the water means that now I cannot progress through the story, therefore I cannot learn how to play the game. Okay. Uh... So, what if I did some fishing? I then try to catch a fish, and I actually catch one. That is some pretty good skill, not going to lie. I, I think I, I think I got a fish. Oh, I have two. Oh yeah, I got a fish. How do I open up my, uh... Oh, I can't even finish. I, I think I like softbox missions. Uh, what is this? Oh, is there something I can use to cook this? Oh, fire pit. Alright, I, I think I might just restart because I think I soft blocked it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just I then realize I won't know how to play the game if I keep playing without the paddles, so I restart. I return to the raft, and I'm very careful not to drop the paddle into the water. Uh, and we're back. Alright, so, uh, paddle. That was way more fun, yeah. I also am deciding to call the raft conveniently placed a lifeboat, but for short, just the raft will do. Drag the rock. Oh, again. That's cool. Alright. Pick up the races so I can get. Now, now I can actually do the rock. I I don't know how I'm going to survive with the attention span of a goldfish, but I'll figure it out. Uh, it's, like, it's like the forest. If I were not in the forest. How do I do that again? I don't... Uh, 
I, I was looking at it the entire time. Now that I've finally started doing things, it won't be long before I create a safe shelter for me to survive in. Alright, I'm happy that I, um... It's like a nature... Oh, that's, that's a bigger version of the old night. I'm happy I'm like a nature survivalist. Hey, crab. Hey, buddy. I pick you up. I don't really want to kill you. Oh, oh, you pinched me. Alright, now I want to kill you. Quick. Screw you. Yeah. Thanks for, uh, thanks for commentating on how disgusting that, that I, I don't know how you pulled a sack of meat out of crab with, like, steak, but, yeah. My hunting skills are immaculate, and I will be able to eat tonight. I'm gonna make another one of those tools. Oh, no, I can't make it. Oh, look. It's fire. That's cool. Since I've created fire... I can now cook the meat and be able to survive the night. Let's go. How do I know when it's done? Am I? Is this done? Please don't tell me I just got sick. I need to cool down. Little did I know, it was raw and it would in fact poison me. Oh my god, that's a big fish! I don't want to attack it because I feel like it's going to attack me. Alright, you know what? You know what? I'm going to attack it. Oh, I killed it! It just... Okay. I'm going to check my watch. It's like a biomarker from Dying Light 2. The watch I was I'm sick. Hungry, smart watch. Why don't I feel good? Why? Why am I poisoned? This was the beginning of my downfall. No, it's because I ate raw crab. <laughs> the girlfriend <Grimper. laughs> just disappeared. With an axe. Crude axe. Flashing. Sweet. Sweet. Right. Yeah, you're cooking it. Yeah, you're. Wait, is it because I'm thirsty? I'm not thirsty. I'm a little thirsty. It's so I can climb trees, right? Oh my god, I can! I'm an avid tree climber. Can I slide down there? No? Alright. I'm spending too much time messing around. Did monsters come out of the Once I have an axe, I can chop down more trees and actually have supplies to make bigger and better things. I was minding my own business when a flock of birds came really close and gave me a heart attack. There we go. Smart I am. What? What? What is that noise? 
Oh my god, that is terrifying. By the end of day one, I was able to make a shelter and sleep the night. A shelter? day two, I had a goal set. I wanted to get to another island, but I had some issues getting myself off the first one. No, 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 no. Really? Alright, let's get this. Scary. Why do I feel like someone's gonna, like, come after me? Come on, go! So then, I finally set sail. On the way, I saw what looks like a sea monster. What is that? Oh, it's a whale! I'm scared, I thought that was a neck. It was a sea monster. But it was just a whale. What if I can see inside myself? I feel like it's an analogy or something. There was a cargo ship on the side of the island, so I was nervous there was people living there. Relax. What? Are there people here? But when I got there, there was no one. Two cargo crates. I was wrong. Was this a cargo ship? Oh, I thought it was a small boat and then a big boat. Container wall. Oh. Okay. Why? Why is this say container wall? Can I do something with the wall? Can I? Oh. Oh. There's this beautiful fuel pot. Fuel pump. Okay. What's in here? Absolutely nothing. Night. Uh, it has to be what? No. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Wait, if I get up here, I'm scared of that man. I see you. Stay over there. So scared. Um, I remember I had an oxygen tank. Maybe I can use that to go deeper in the ship because I feel like I'm gonna drown. Except for giant crabs. Oh boy, is that? <laughs>
Yeah. After I killed the giant crab, I was nervous to do anything because if I knew I was attacked again, I might die. I saw that I was low in health, so I tried some bandages. I want that bandage. I have rations. I like to use the rations just yet because I feel like I can be I able to do more. I can't use the bandage even though I'm bleeding. Despite the cuts on my arm and the shark bites and the crab pinches, I wasn't bleeding, so I couldn't use my bandages. I look around the island, looking for resources to craft another campfire. That was... that was... scary. Please. I go explore the other ship I saw in search of medical supplies. What is this? It's a big starfish. My spark for everything. Oh, it's it's marked by the the yellow it's in here. Flare gun. Huh. I find a flare gun, which I hope to use to find help. So then I go explore the cargo ship with an oxygen tank, and it doesn't go so well. Oh, How much is that? I used, alright. Used this sparingly. <laughs> I just wanted to test it just in case if I, like, you know, was about to die. Oh! Alright, let's, let's go up here first. Let's see what's up here. It's a big boat. It'd be fun if I could, you know, fix it up. I just sleep here. Hammer, but not. Yeah. And if we're, what, what, what's less important than a hammer? Well. Oh. I like how you just walk through these things. Okay, what, is, what is this useful? What, refined building tool, good durability, fire, good building. This handy dandy. Um. And a torch. Just British for flashlight. Are you guys seeing me?
Embers and Torch. I did not pick up the torch. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. make it out of the ship alive. It's also getting dark, so I need to make a shelter. The food's done. Oh, it has to say cool. Oh, Alright, that would make that would make sense. There it is. This is the cooked one, right? Yeah. This is the first time in this game I eat cooked food. Why is aim so high? So what do I need? I need I need shelter. So that requires me to be chopping down. Terrified right now. Why is that playing? What's happening? I'm scared. I'm running away. Why is that playing? <laughs> Why? I thought it was just the noise. No? I'm so scared! Since I'm on my last heart, I don't I don't know why. I don't know how to fix that. Even while editing this video, I still don't know if that was boss music or just really scary background music. I need to go to sleep and then uh, immediately go get some music break. I survived day two, but I'm low in hunger and thirst. Luckily, I put food on the campfire last night. I'm still thirsty though. I spent some time grinding for coconuts. Thirsty, I need I need to get okay. It's a big palm tree.
that just dire diarrhea? <laughs> Oh no, I have diarrhea. I need to find water. Are you kidding me? Dehydrate. Huh? I drink too many coconuts and I now have what the game spells diarrhea. So after all these hardships and fun moments, throwing my paddle into the water, barely being able to make fire and shelter, almost dying to giant crabs, even unknowingly eating raw meat, this is where my journey comes to an end. On the edge of a beach, with food poisoning, completely dehydrated, and with diarrhea. At least it is a peaceful death. Goodbye. Absolute rebel. Well, had fun. Uh, I see you again soon. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, bye.